All right, so let's welcome back Sly and David for this big win for the Utes. You know, this is their last game before conference play. It's against an FCS opponent. The Utes are nationally ranked. They had to dominate this game, right? And that's what they did. I mean, this is the outcome you would have expected, yeah, right? Yeah, listen, when you play FCS-type opponents, you just got to take care of business. You want a clean game to kind of get you ready for the rest of your schedule. Utah does just that, and really specifically Tyler Hundley. Yeah, he had an amazing game, which is what we wanted from him. We wanted to air him out and see his play. But you can definitely see his maturation at quarterback on this play here, especially here. With pressure in his face, you know, he's able to stay confident in the pocket and deliver a dime to Brian Thompson down the field. It was just an awesome play here. Play action fake, sees his receiver, waits for him to get open. Dean splits the block, but his confidence in staying in the pocket, followed through with it, and puts it on the money. Keeps him in Dime. stride, and so he's able to outrun the defender. Gets him out of his running stance, but it was just a perfect play by Tyler Huntley. So moving on, Huntley does a great job. Pre-snap reads of the corner blitz, right? You're going to see a, blitz, a corner come off the side. Him understanding where the guys are coming from, I think that's a big thing going into to Pac-12 play, especially against USC team that's going to provide some pressure. Yeah, so this corner's going to blitz off the, off the edge here. So this safety's supposed to have the corner's position at taking first to the flat. He doesn't, but since this huge cup right here, Tyler Huntley's literally just playing ball in the backyard, sees the wide open Keefe on the out and up, and let Great the athletes move. let there the athletes go. make a play here, and that's exactly what Keefe does on that and gets in the end zone. So we talk about pre-snap reads. This play in particular shows just that he understands the coverage, and this is something you want to see from a quarterback, like you said, going to the Pac-12 play, because these Pac-12 defenses are going to throw everything at him and be able to understand how the defense is lining up is a huge key. Yeah, so they start with two high safeties out here, and then they rotate to thirds. And so once he sees that it's thirds, he knows he has one-on-one -on -one with the corner and Brian Thompson back here, and that's just athlete on athlete. He puts the ball on the money. They practice this. So, yes, he, he caught it out of bounds with one foot in, but they practice this all the time. Look at that. That's perfect display. You see it all the time. What we call it in the NFL is Tony Toe Tap. That's what Antonio Brown loves to call it. <laughs> Tony toe tap, and that's exactly what he does in getting the ball in the end zone. So they've got USC coming up, a team that, oh, as we know, just lost to BYU. They're going to be fired up. Does Tyler Huntley, can he carry this over against a, a, a fired up USC team to open up conference play? Yes, I believe so. I think the experience of this team, now I think a lot of starters got a lot of rest at mm -hmm. this game as well. But going into the Coliseum, knowing that we haven't had a win there is all the motivation that you need to go into this game. I think Tyler Huntley, Zach Moss, Brian Thompson on offense, uh, Britton Covey on special teams, and that whole defensive yeah. unit is going to come with some serious passion. That, that's another great thing about these games is you get your starters rested. You you get some depth going as well. Some guys got some crucial reps. And so now you head into Pac-12 play. Everyone's got their reps in, ready to roll. Well, machine, we'll see how they roll out yeah. against USC. See if the Utes can't make some history this weekend, Friday night. All right, JJ.